Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, bringing you episode 4 of my series, Who Performs Best, Serie A Striker Edition. In this episode, Din Natalia will be going up against Vukinic in the fourth quarterfinal of this series. Din Natalia's stats are pretty similar to FIFA 12 and 13. He has 86 pace, 86 shooting, 87 dribbling and 80 passing. Vukinic, on the other hand, has 80 passing... Sorry, 80 pace, 81 shooting, 79 passing and 85 dribbling. So his stats... Are a little bit less than Di Natale's but they're still relatively good. I haven't used either on FIFA yet on FIFA 14 so this should be a pretty interesting match so we'll just let it kick off see what the ratings are and see who does get that last semi-final spot so on to the three games. Okay, so that did end as a 4-3 victory to me, uh, quite a fun game, pretty open, uh, scored a couple of nice goals, hope you liked the free kick, um, I was a bit surprised when it went in, it looked like the keeper had made an error, but then on the replay it was actually a really well placed free kick from Hernanes, he is honestly brilliant at them, I think I've scored 3 so far this series, anyway, when everyone has pressed A, which they have, uh, the match ratings will come up. And yeah, Di Natale got 8.1, Vukanic 9.2, so quite high rate, well, very high ratings for game one. Vukanic in the lead, but we'll see if that stays the same, I suppose. Uh, the match backs, he had 11 shots, 9 on target, I had 9, 7 on target, he had a lot more possession. Other than that, it was pretty even, um, yeah, and I'm happy with the 4-3, so anyway, on to game uh, 2. Okay, well that was a fairly dull game, um, yeah, I lost 1-0, there wasn't really a great deal going on, so there's hardly any highlights for this, <coughs> quite close, I'm not bothered that I lost, it really doesn't phase me when I lose, draw or win, unless it's heavily when I don't deserve it, but anyway, moving on to the match ratings, Di Natale got 6.8, Vukanic 6.5, so the ratings were awful. Um, in that match so 
Vukinic is still in the lead. Ah, there was a bit more shots than I thought, actually. It didn't seem that way. There must have been, like, loads of deflections or whatever. But he had 13 shots. I had 10. He had 7 on target. I had 8 on target. He had a lot more possession. So, 1-0. Uh, fair reflection, I suppose. Uh, doesn't really matter. Oh, well. On to game 3. Right, well that ended in a 3-3 draw, for, so for this episode we've lost 1-1-1 one, 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 and drawn 1, which is fairly average to be honest, but um, it was an entertaining game, certainly better than game 2, um, just waiting for him to press A and then we'll go through the match ratings of Di Natale and Mukani. Right. So the match ratings, Di Natale got 7.3, Vukanic 8.8, .8. so probably a bit of a surprise to who's actually went through. Uh, I'll do the match ratings at the end as always, I had 12 shots, 9 on target, he had 11, 9 on target, 50-50 possession, so yeah, definitely a very very even match and it deserved to be a draw and 3-3 was the final result. So anyway, let's get straight into the match ratings. Right, I'm back for the match ratings. Um, before I do say the match ratings, basically I'll give my opinion on Di Natale and Vukinic. I've got to say I'm very disappointed with Di Natale. Um, FIFA 12 and FIFA 13, he's been so good for me, and he's got similar stats on this, so I thought he would be good on this. But for me, he was he was really, really bad, to be honest. His stats don't merit his performances on the pitch, for me, anyway. I did play a few more games with him after the three, and he still... I just I didn't enjoy him, I don't know why. Vukinic on the other hand, I was really surprised. Um, he kind of reminds me a bit uh, like um, Jovetic last year um, in Syria, except without... Wait, I can't remember if Vukinic has got three or four star skills. But uh, yeah, he reminded me of him from uh, FIFA 13 and 12, so I did enjoy him. But anyway, onto the match ratings. In game 1, Di Natale got 8.1, Vukinic 9.2. In game 2, Di Natale got 6.8, Vukinic 6.5. In game 3, Di Natale got 7.3, Vukinic 8.8. .8. So that does mean that the average match ratings were Di Natale 7.4 and Vukinic 8.16. So for this episode, Vukinic is the winner. Yeah, so no real surprise there given the match ratings, I mean, he won by about 0.7, which is a huge amount. Well, for season 1 of Hoopcorn's Best anyway, I know this is season 2, and to be honest, all matches, apart from the first, have been like pretty decisive, they've been won by at least 0.5, which is kind of surprising, but yeah. Um, I'm not going to say what the next episode is going to be, just in case you want to catch up on the quarterfinals, but I will tell you what it is at the start of next uh, episode which will be the semi-final game one so I'll tell you who's going to be in game two of the semi-finals as well and then after that is the third place playoff and then the final itself so if you have enjoyed please hit that like button it really does help my channel subscribe for uh, daily FIFA 14 videos and yeah peace
Thank you.